All right, time to get started. Four by four is a little bit bowed up on top, so we gotta make it unbowed and hold boards up at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do this to make it unbowed. Luckily, these things, boom, there we go. Unbowed. Wow. <laughs> Impressive, baby. Yeah. I'm gonna get some lag bolts for there too. I actually don't have any more. I thought I had a couple more big lag bolts, but I don't. So I'm putting five screws in it for now. But luckily, there's no like snow or Ice. any real weight that's gonna be on it until I can go there and get them. But this would be fine. I mean, this would probably be fine without the lag bolt, but I want to make sure it's lagged, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be using a online triangle calculator to find this angle. Um, it works really well, actually, to find the distances and stuff. It's just a regular triangle, find the angles in between. Should have listened to geometry more, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they were telling us in school that uh, geometry is going to play a very important role in your life, you better learn it. Huh. I would have never known that it was going to be for this type of stuff. Right. <laughs> Mr. Rons, you're coming down. Wow. The last. The last evidence of where the shed came from. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. We saved the other one. We did. This one's a little faded. It doesn't look like it on camera. But when you get like close to it. Maybe I'll, maybe you can repaint it. Maybe. And put like CRC or something on it. Yeah. That's Sorry, right. Rons, had to come down, bro. Anthony removed that sign now we have no idea where our sheds came from and if you guys are curious as to where we got our sheds from we ordered them from Ron's um, Ron's what's the name of it um, portable building yeah Ron's portable building they're in Howie uh, Oklahoma and yep. a very nice company I have zero complaints as far as the shed and now that we've transformed it into our house I definitely don't have any complaints I went and scoured some more and actually I found Literally two left, two more of these lag bolts. So I'm gonna put them in now, so that's a score. Yeah, it was meant to be. Yeah. <laughs>
It was. No, well, that battery's almost dead anyway. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they take a minute to come in. They're self-tapping ones. And they don't play around. Okay. My, both my batteries are dead. Oh, no. So, well, I'm going to charge them. So. You got one good one, though? Yeah. All right. At least it won't hold up progress. No. Looks good, baby. Yeah. I will say that this part right here that we're doing is probably the most important part. Yeah. And the whole reason why we want the front deck on to begin with. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm trying to see where the nails are at. I'm seeing you over here. already pretty much level. It looks bowed to me. Does it look bowed to you? I mean, I don't really see it. I mean, you could measure it, I guess. Well, we use this as a, a stick then, a measuring stick. Let me put the first wrap out. Maybe just this one is. So that one kicked it out a little bit? Yeah. So, that's just to hold it straight. Getting hot. <laughs> Wardrobe change. It's not even really hot, it's just sun. Yeah. Okay. against the house. I'll use it as a template. Okay. All of these. Uh, so if you guys are curious, <laughs> I know I was curious on how to find that degree. I basically made the slope the same on top. I just brought it down so I can trace where it's going to be. And if you take your square and put the pivot point on the top of the line right here, keep it there and just move it over like this until it lines up on the line. See it's lined up right now? Let me look right here, it's gonna tell you the degrees. And it's five degrees, and that's what I thought it was. That's so, the same as the back deck. As the back, yeah, which is more than enough for here. Yeah, and <laughs> like, Thunderdomes. And too. Thunderdomes, yeah. yeah. So then with a the miter, I just put it on five degree, this thing, smooth on over to five degrees. Each one of these little marks is a degree line. Now is it gonna be the same slope on the house side and the header side? Yeah. Yeah? yeah it's like this. Okay. Five degree, five degree. Nice. You know? Yeah. The board. That's easy peasy. Yeah. This from here to here where I marked, it's five and a half inches. That's the same as like the the bottom of here to the top of this header, it's five and a half inches. So I just did it down here so I can easily 
not have to be up there like this. And so now I just put the bottom right there, bring it all the way over. And now look, because this is going to be lined up the same up on top. Now I'll just mark right there. Not that one, that was the one before. And then go cut that out. And boom. Now I have my rafter template. Lined up. Alright, we're gonna double check and make sure it's right. Yeah, before we start yeah, cutting before a whole we get bunch too, of them. Too crazy. <laughs> Yeah, the angle is right. I can see that. Yeah. Okay, well, that's all right. I don't know how that happened, but I need to add. Did you not measure the width of the 2 by 4 maybe? Yes. That's what it was? That's what it was. I forgot to add the width of that. All right. Oops! <laughs> that's all right. Yeah. That's all right. Inch and three quarters. All right. But that's all right. The angle's right. Yeah, but yeah the I, forgot, I forgot to add that. I've, I've done that so many times. You just start working and get ahead of yourself, you know? Yeah. But that's all right. Th this board won't be wasted. No, 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 no. We got plans for these two by fours for different things, you know? So that's okay. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Let's add that real quick right there. And then we'll have the template. Now this should be the template. <laughs> <laughs> Mucho better. Yep. <laughs> there it is. favorite part of all of this. Yeah. Hangers. <clears throat> it's just the, the height of them, you know? Yeah, making sure they're all in the right spot. <coughs> I mean, it's not that big of a deal. And for here, we don't have that many which is nice when we're doing it on the big deck. I was like, ah, because <laughs> it, was like, it was an all day event just to hang these hangers. Yeah. Because every time I do like this by itself, I think I'm eyeballing it right. I get in there and it's all off every time. Yeah, it was too high or too yeah, low. Yeah, too low. And I'm like, man, I'm just gonna do this, you know.
Well, I found the easy way to do it anyway. Seems to work pretty good. You can hammer those things in, right? And I've tried. They always fall. Always, it always falls. Anthony's finishing up uh, securing in all of the rafters right now and I will say guys this deck looks so amazing. <laughs> oh it looks good yeah. Yeah just for a little tiny little landing front porch area I think it looks so good. Like I think it really just completes the outside on the front yard of the house. <laughs> I do. I guess baby you could say it really changes the feel. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> it does. I think it's going to be, it's already awesome. Yeah. I like it. I do too. It's uh, very sturdy. Oh. Yeah. It's a rock. I think this is our best deck yet. Think so? Yeah. I do. Oh, we got an acrobat on our hands, huh? It's hard to do it like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It looks good though. Yeah. It was worth the risk. It was worth the risk. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta take risks in life, guys. Yeah. Hopefully you won't be too sore tomorrow. I'll be alright. I'll be alright.
get some screws, babe? Yeah. I ran out. You ran out. I guess there's like three different sizes in there. <laughs> it makes it kind of confusing. I know. I dumped them all in the box. See, I can't use these ones. The ones that are... These are the short. I guess I need the mediums. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try. Lot, yeah, I'm going to need a lot more than that now. Try these. Drop one. <laughs> But yeah, those are the those are the size that I need. That's what you need. Yeah. There's a lot of screws in this thing. I said your fancy new tool, huh? Well, I don't want to cut any of these down. I mean, I know I should have cut them before, but I want to make sure everything was good before I cut them. You know? Mm -hmm. So they weren't too short. And they're not, but now i got to cut through this big old thing with a handsaw. Which isn't too bad, it's just going to take a minute. Yeah. Way through already. Nice. Decided to go this route instead. Yeah, I had to pull out I the thought, big. I thought I'd be cool, but <laughs> no, <sighs> no. It's a lot of back and forth. <laughs> it is. This does it in like five seconds. So. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I think that came out amazing. It does. It looks so good. And I say it before and I'll say it again, but it really does change the feel on the front of the house. It does. Look at it from over here, guys. Just from like a different angle. The little porch. And it's not even done. No. Like we still have more things to do. I got to do the stairs, some railings. I got to do some stuff with the windows. But I think this came out amazing. 
I'm happy with it. I'm proud of it. Yeah, me too. And it's going to protect that door. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a game changer for yep. sure. We still got more stuff to do though, guys. Oh, yeah.